Good day, friends. I remain your friend and your colleague in um, agriculture, the person of Umwa School Jewel, the pioneer of Fish College. Today we are going to be considering about 20 opportunities. When I mean opportunities, I mean business opportunities that I encourage fish business. I actually discovered that many people want to invest into fish farming, but they don't have good knowledge on how the business flows. So I'm going to expose about 20 opportunities that are in the business that will enable you to know the area you are going to invest. And I'm happy that I have people from the country and outside the country that have subscribed to this channel and are really watching what we are doing. So now, I want to encourage us, you know, we are recovering from the effect of coronavirus. Uh, coronavirus really caused a lot of harm to almost everybody. So, if you can expand your scope, it's very good to create more opportunities for the youth to come and work. It is very, very good. There are many people who are skillful. They just need people to create a place and have a that will grant them access to work. So I'm going to bring them out. I'm going to like extract them plainly so that we can see. So when you see them, you can invest into those opportunities. You can invest into them and harness them properly. So before we move into the opportunity I'm going to consider, I'd like to play some of the live practical videos we have done. And this video you are watching, this documentary you are watching, is dedicated to our youth. When I mean youth, I mean those who are working because even if you are married, even if you have kids and you are strong, I can still tag you a youth. Then, mainly to core members. Core members. You know, in core members, you normally have a slang. In NYC, you normally have a slang called um, Sayid. When we say Sayid, the response is core members creating words. And I'm happy to be part of the facilitator in Sayid. Sayid is a um, skill acquisition and entrepreneurship development. Um, department of NYC that is responsible in empowering youth, our core members with entrepreneurship skills. I was on time, I've been partnering with NYC to empower our youth with agricultural skills. So I really want you to learn part of what you have been hearing from us, learn the practicals, you know, have this video with you, always watch and rewatch it and start small, do not wait, start small, do not wait. Any opportunity you have, harness it. You know, the, the, the opportunities you're going to hear from us, you know, any privilege you have to make use of any one of them, make use of them. Uh, you have our contacts rolling on the screen. You can WhatsApp, you can chat us, you can call us. We we'll always try our possible best to see how we can help. You know, we are in recovery stage of um, the effect of COVID. We have to work together to ensure we all are moving together. So I would like you to enjoy yourself with the documentary after watching part of the documentary, you know, on the hardship process and the sources that you can equally see, then we will now move over to the business of the day, where we are going to be looking into 20 opportunities that are in the cartridge farming business. So I really want to appreciate you for being part of this community. Great farmers, great nation. No farmers, no nations. Together, we continue to make our nation Nigeria a great nation. Thank you so much. Enjoy yourself. Over my bar, I will be. You will never amount. Over 
opportunities that are in cast with business number one that i'll be talking about is hashing hashing is simply the production of fingerlings so this lasts for a period of um one month maximum of two months you are done you know you when you hash all you just have to do is to manage the fries the hatchings when they come out you manage them um after three days so after four days, that is when they will begin to eat. So you manage them by changing water for them through a process we call flow through, feeding them properly and monitoring them very well. And then when you have good knowledge on how to hash, I'm telling you that within one month, you're having something that you will sell. You can set them up a finger in them. You can decide to raise them for more three weeks. And then you'll be having what we call post fingerling or juvenile, which you can equally sell. And for every successful hatchery that you have, I'm telling you that you may not have minimum of um, five to ten thousand. What we having, sometimes you have up to twenty thousand, sometimes you have up to thirty thousand. So hashing is very very good. Just that hashing requires time, and it's very very delicate. So. You know, this is not really um, a lecture class on hash food. This is just an expository of opportunities that are in cash food business. So I want to take note of it. You want to invest into hash food, very, very good. I'm telling you that it lasts within one to two months. That cycle is done. Then another opportunity I'm going to be mentioning is um, production of juvenile. Now, when you look at my finger, this is called finger and the size of fish that are equivalent to this size are called fingerlings. Now, juveniles are those ones that are far bigger than this, that can comfortably pick 2 mm. There are many farmers who cannot manage fingerlings. When I mean fingerlings, they cannot manage fish that are one month old. So they prefer you supplying them juvenile size. Now, those who cannot hash, you can partner with breeders and be collecting fingerling from them and now nurse them to juvenile level and be selling. I actually have a client that normally buy fingerling from me. Once they are three weeks, he will come around and check them and he will collect and manage them because he is not very, very good in hashing. So he collect them and um, manage them to juvenile and he supply. And I'm telling you the truth that if this man tells you how much he makes, even at times I do feel jealous. So I do feel jealous. So you can invest into juvenile product. It's not a more that everybody will be a breeder. Everybody cannot be a breeder. So we know you do not have the facility to be hashing. You can equally create awareness to people that you supply juvenile and they will come around. So that is the second option that I'm raising. Then number three, we are going to be looking at raising of um, smoking size. This is a cycle that lasts for three months. You can equally take it to four months if it pleases you. So all you need to do is to get standard juvenile and stock in your pond. And stock in your pond and raise them for three months or maximum of four months. At that three to four months, you'll be having two equal to one kilo, three and one kilo. You can be having um, three pieces weighing two kilo. Now, who are the clients, who are the customers that do buy this particular set of fish? Most of the people we call Malam, all those Aboki, you see, working fish there and there. They are, in fact, they, 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 they do buy almost everything anytime they comes around. And the market women, um, some of them used to buy smoking size, but the best people from my own experience that do buy smoking size are the Aboki people and those who are engaged in smoking of fish. So you can decide to venture into that area. 
So when you now stock your pond, you know that at the end of three months, you are cropping to sell out. So who are the people that venture into it? If you don't want to hash, if you don't want to raise juvenile, you can decide to be raising what? Smoking size, let people know you for that. Then the next stage we are going to be considering is raising of table size. The difference between smoking size and table size is that smoke table size from the name table size are the ones who really call point and key. When you bring them out, you know that they are ready for consumption. So who are the people that buy table size? Those market women that sell fish on the roadside. Whenever once your fish are ready, you call them. They will all fly like bears with their carts, with their with their cars, with their bows, and they will come and clear up your pond. I believe you are learning something. I've been able to mention four points: fingerling production, juvenile production, smoking size production, table size production. Thank you. All right, still on opportunities in catfish business. We're going to be considering something very very special and different. Now, blue stock production. Many people are not aware of blue stock production, and you know some people used to assume that to raise blue stock normally take a long time. You can make it easier for yourself. Very very simple. All you need to do is to is to partner with those who raise table size. Whenever before they crop, you go and meet them and select good feed. The shooters among what they want to crop. The shooters among them. For the female, you select those that you can see that already have eggs. Then for the male, you select matured male. Now, most of them that raise table size do raise their table size for six to seven months. Then you collecting them, you restock them in your own pond and raise them for more one year or more seven months. When you raise them for that length of time, I assure you a good number of them will be ready. Then to make things easier, you can, you know, if you know how to hash, you can test run one and see the efficacy of the result and use that to promote your business. I actually have people because since I hash, I do most cases we sort blue stock from farms, and I discovered that there are farmers that what they do strictly is just to raise blue stock. And to shock you, let me tell you what is in blue stock production. Now, a table size is sold between 700 to 900 naira in some places, but for blue stock, the minimum you can get blue stock per kilo is 2,500. I do not mean one particular fish, I mean a kilo. And when your fish has stayed for such period of time, some be weighing five kilo, some be weighing um, three kilo, some be weighing seven kilo, some be weighing eight kilo. Then now multiply it by 2,500, multiply it by 3,000 because some farmers will insist that if you don't have 3,000 or even 3,500 per kilo, they are not going to sell for you. And since you're a desperate breeder that needs blood blue stock, you have no option looking at the quality but to buy. So you can decide to venture into it because I actually discovered that many people are ignorant about this aspect of fish farming. So you can have a unit of such in your farm or you can decide to venture into it and place advert. Breeders will always come to you. Then let's talk about heterobranchus. Heterobranchus is a special fish. It's a special of catfish that normally grows big from two years upward. Actually, it takes a good time for them to grow big, but if you are specialized in raising this fish, you will attract people. You know, there are special class of people that do buy a tobacco because of its uniqueness. A tobacco normally grow very, very big and large. You can have some weighing 15 kilo, 20 kilo, 10 kilo. So, people that are into it are rare. You can decide to venture into special fish like blue stock, a tobacco and hybrid. Hybrid is a product of Clarias grapinus and Heterobranchus. When you cross them, you have hybrid, sort like Heteroclarus. So hybrid equally take time, but mainly within one year, uh, within one year you have a reasonable size. And the good thing about hybrid and Heterobranchus is that they grow very, very big. So you can see this particular area that I've just pressed now. People who are doing it are not much. Then, if you know you want to be known as a farmer that produces big, big fish, invest more in blue stock, heterobranchus, and hybrid. When you are doing it, people will be coming from far away. Actually, some people do complain that they find it difficult to get by. The reason is that many farmers don't know that you are into it. Like me now, if I know that you are into heterobranchus production, I'm partner with you, I'm getting your heterobranchus 
to produce pure breed or to produce high breed. So this is a business opportunity. If you are into it and you are watching this video, you can equally call on us and let us know what you have. Then by God's grace, I have links of other breeders too that need them in the hash. So I can equally help you to promote your business. So one of the things I do in this channel is to help farmers to announce what they are doing. You know, I have a I have a live trading platform. We also run advanced. So it's a privilege having you here. Alright, let's proceed further. It's, um, we are welcome to the business of the day. We are gonna be considering about 20 opportunities that are in Catholic business. Number one that I'll be talking about is hashing. Hashing is simply the production of clean garlic. So this lasts for a period of um, one month, maximum of two months, we are done. No, you, when you hash, all you just have to do is to manage the price, the hashness when they come out, you manage them. Um, after three days, some after four days, that is when they will begin to eat. So you manage them by changing water for them through a process we call flow through, feeding them properly and monitoring them very well. And then when you have good knowledge on how to hash, I'm telling you that within one month you're having something that you sell. You can set them up at finger with them. You can decide to raise them for more three weeks. And then you'll be having what we call post fingerling or juvenile, which you can equally sell. And for every successful hatchery that you have, I'm telling you that you may not have minimum of um, five to ten thousand. What we're having, sometimes you have up to twenty thousand, sometimes you have up to thirty thousand. So hashing is very, very good. Just that hashing requires time and it's very, very delicate. So you know, this is not really um, a lecture class on hash food. This is just an expository of opportunities that are in Catholic business. So I want you to take note of it. If you want to invest into hash food, very, very good. I'm telling you that it lasts within one to two months. That cycle is done. Then another opportunity I'm going to be mentioning is um, production of juvenile. Now, when you look at my finger, this is called finger, and the size of fish that are equivalent to this size are called fingerlings. Now, juveniles are those ones that are far bigger than this, that can comfortably pick two mm. There are many farmers who cannot manage fingerlings. When I mean fingerlings, they cannot manage fish that are one month old. So they prefer you supplying them juvenile size. Now, those who cannot hash, you can partner with breeders and be collecting fingerling from them and now nurse them to juvenile level and be selling. I actually have a client that normally buy fingerling from me. Once they are three weeks, he will come around and check them. And he will collect and manage them because he is not very, very good in hashing. So he collect them and uh, manage them to juvenile and he supply. And I'm telling you the truth that if this man tells you how much he makes, even at times I do feel jealous. So I do feel jealous. So you can invest into juvenile production. It doesn't matter that everybody will be a breeder. Everybody cannot be a breeder. So if you know you do not have the facility to be hashing, you can equally create awareness to people that you supply juvenile and they will come around. So that is the second option that I'm raising. Then number three, we are going to be looking at raising of um, smoking size. This is a cycle that lasts for three months. You can equally take it to four months if it pleases you. So all you need to do is to get standard juvenile and stock in your pond. And stock in your pond and raise them for three months or maximum of four months. At that three to four months, you'll be having two equal to one kilo, three and one kilo. You can be having um, three pieces weighing two kilo. Now, who are the clients, who are the customers that do buy this particular set of fish? Most of the people we call Malam, all those Apoki, you see, working fish there and there. They are, in fact, they, 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 they do buy almost everything anytime they come around. And the market women, um, some of them used to buy smoking size, but the best people from my own experience that do buy smoking size are the Apoki people and those who are engaged in smoking of fish. So you can decide to venture into that area. 
So when you now stock your pond, you know that at the end of three months, you are cropping to sell out. So who are the people that venture into it? If you don't want to hash, if you don't want to raise two to nine, you can decide to be raising what? Smoking size, let people know you from that. Then the next stage we are going to be considering is raising of table size. The difference between smoking size and table size is that small table size from the name table size are the ones who really got points and key. When you bring them out, you know that they are ready for consumption. So who are the people that buy table size? Those market women that sell fish on the roadside. And then once your fish are ready, you call them, they will all fly like bears with their cats, with their with their cars, with their bows come and clear up the pond. I believe we are learning something. I've been able to mention four points. Fingerling production, dividend production, smoking size production, table size production. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, the next point I'm going to be considering now is pond construction and maintenance. When you're talking about pond, you're talking about uh, fish house, that the local name and normally call it. Now we have different type of pond. We have earthen pond, we have concrete, we have mobile plastic pond, mobile toponym pond, we have fiberglass tank, we have you know anything that one can easily use to train fish provided we have inlet and outlet. So there are you can decide to develop yourself on this. All you just need to do is to work with someone and have the idea as a youth. When you work with a person for a period of one year or six months, you get to story. Now before you know, you will be setting it up on you because whether we like it or not, in Nigeria population, African population, the world population keep increasing day by day. So people will still set up on today, tomorrow, next tomorrow. So you can be you can develop yourself in that area and be doing at least this year by the grace of God, you have been able to set up some fun for some places. I will still have more that you're going to do. So you can establish yourself in that area. Then the next point you're going to be considering, you're going to be looking at water quality management. Many people don't know how to stabilize their water. It's one of the things I learned from school and I'm so happy about it. And um, I thank God for my wonderful and prestigious university, Nam Dezikwe University. May God bless my lecturers for the good work they did for us. You know, we are even encouraged in those days that you can develop yourself on water quality management and all you have to do is to get people who are having water quality challenge you balance their period for them and you get paid for the service you can have an office where people will come to you and where you equally sell the test kits that are being used for water quality management so you can develop yourself in that area and be good there as i said earlier whether you like it or not People will still develop interest in fish farming. As a matter of after watching this video, some persons will develop interest. And their water will not be good. Because it is very good for you to have idea of the pH of your water. Not just pH, even dissolve oxygen content and some of the basic parameters that are needed. It's just good to have idea on it so that your fish will not struggle to survive. So you can develop yourself in that area. Then, Another point that looks us with is faith distributor. Now, in our nation, Nigeria, we know that we have different companies that produce feed. We have Scratin, we have Vita, we have Alakwa, we have Top Feed, we have many of them. And all these companies need people like us to serve as their agents. All you need to do is to get their terms and conditions. You can call your customer care and they will give you the money on branding. Tell you how they operate and if you can partner with them, they will make you a distributor. And before you know, you have created an opportunity for yourself. Apart from partnering with those big companies because at times the requirements will be too heavy, you can decide to partner with local producers. When I meet lo local producers, there are farms or there are companies that produce feed but their names are not well known. Example, a Matibas feed in all the states. A good example. They produce poultry feed and fish feed. So, but this name, as I'm mentioning it now, not everybody knows about it. So you can decide to partner with them and be a distributor. And 
you know, based on terms and agreement, you will not know how you flow. So I think I've been able to mention a lot of points. You know that we have um, a restaurant called Chicken Republic. You can have your fish republic where people will come and get fresh fish, grilled fish, dry fish, you know, fish shawarma, different kinds of things prepared with fish. Even um, what we call it ornamental fish. So there are there are many things we need to do. Now we don't need to depend on what is existing. This is a time to pray. And I want to appeal to some persons that are watching this video. If you know you have the money, please invest in this opportunity so that our youth, our youth will find a place to work. Invest in them. We have the money and you don't even know how to go with them. You can partner with us so that we great down back us. Our government cannot really help us. They are trying their best, but they cannot do them. Um, um, you know we are into, we are falling into, um, into rendering of workshops and vocational service. So if you want us to partner with you to train your youth, your teenagers, you can call on us to get that done. You can book an appointment with us together. Let us work together, together as one, to make this country great. So I want to thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to like if you have not done that. Do not forget to comment if you have not done that. And then we'll keep updating you with relevant information that will enable you to be more profitable in your business. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being part of us. I will love and to bless you for the days. Before.